Hello everyone, today we're going to make some simple pin blanks. Hello again everyone, I've been doing bigger projects like this Wolverine project with the light in it and all that stuff and if you haven't seen the video I'll put it up there but <clears throat> I've done all these other ones too and it's kind of intimidating for people and I've had several requests to say hey will you do something simple or um, something less intimidating and I'm gonna do some pin blanks today real simple some are just gonna be colors some are gonna have Banksy pods and deer antlers and all that kind of stuff um, here's some I got from Pam Harris and let me get to focus these things are real cool I actually won these in a giveaway there we go there's her logo I'm gonna put a link to her Zach Higgins and Casey Martin I've watched their videos and they've taught me how to do this and I'm gonna teach you how to do it so the more uh, ways or more avenues of information you have the better I say so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I have and how simple it is to make some I'm gonna do some color I have some aluminum and things like that so let's go see what I have so I have some Chola cactus I hope I'm saying that right but these things are pretty neat um, Banksia pods I've cut these up it was it came as one pod or I, I got a couple of pods but I cut it up and we're gonna see how this does um, some deer antlers and these were all sent to me by Laura from Law Woodcrafts I'll put her name right here on Instagram go follow her and go follow me if you haven't yet she also sent me a bag of this shredded money because I made the money bowl with real money and people on Facebook wanted to crucify me so I can make a money bowl and not get a bunch of flack for it I also have all this stuff over here I've stabilize this I was off I've also stabilized all this I haven't the deer antlers I'm just gonna sand those and they should be good um, and we're gonna make a bunch of pin blanks first thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do some Banksy pods and color and then the extra color I have I'm gonna make pin blanks with just color so um, let's start off doing that first thing you need is some kind of a mold to put it in these are from lizard blanks they're they're really well made they're CNC'd these actually fit into one another like that I'll go ahead and take one apart for you so as you can see that is cut out to fit that and so it's not gonna leak or anything but these are about $25 a piece so let me put it back together and then I made this one on my own from HDPE plastic it's high density polyethylene which <clears throat> got me a sheet like this um, I got it from Granger. I'll have links below to everything I use. So, just to give you an idea, this is around $18, I think. That's around $25. So, you choose whichever you want. Do you want to make it yourself or do you want to have some convenience? And that's how you do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want these about an inch deep. And that's what these are. And now I need to mark this one at an inch. So I fill these ones up till they're almost full, so that's not hard to, to figure out that one. <clears throat> and then when I'm pouring in here or putting the pods in here and stuff, I'm going to go up to this line here and then I know where to stop. So now I need to figure out how much resin do I need and how I do that is, you may have noticed this sitting in the background on the videos, this is just rice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these up to how I want them with the rice without anything else in there, without any objects in there. And then I'm going to measure that rice with the measuring cup and then that'll give me a pretty rough idea how much I need and I won't I won't run short now that's right to the line all the way around I'll fill these up so there these are all full up to where I want them and you just dump them in the measuring cup make sure there's none left in there I don't know if that's all gonna fit in there. Let me get a bigger cup. So if these are empty and I've wanted to make pin planks out of these without anything in there, no wood, no Banksy pods or anything, I'm gonna need about 20 ounces. So that'll give me a good starting point for mixing this. And I might even make it a little bit more because there's nothing worse than 
you know, running out of resin and you're on a timer too because this stuff uh, just starts setting up pretty quick. So now I know how much I need and I'm going to start setting these up for how I want them in there. Now the next thing I do, I have some of this uh, aluminum honeycomb. I'm going to go ahead and soak this in acetone and I'm going to clean these molds real good to make sure there's no dirt. And I'm going to have to use hot glue to hold these things down. So I want the hot glue to stick to the plastic. So um, on this one, I'm going to clean it real good so it, it sticks and I'm not going to use any mold release on that one. But on these two, I'm going to clean them and then I'm going to put the mold release on there so they come out nice and easy. So I have my molds clean. This one's ready to go. I'm going to put this one in there, that one, and some aluminum just for fun. And maybe on one of the blanks, it'll have, have both of them in there. So you get a hot glue gun and I'm going to put a dab under here. I want it to stay off of the surface a little bit so resin can get underneath it and it'll be cooler. So here we go. I've had the hot glue gun plugged in this whole time. So I don't even try to be neat about it. I just kind of you know, put you a big old glob there. And that should one stick it there and then two keep it off of the surface. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I think I'm gonna put this one in there like this. And then this aluminum. I'm gonna put some over here. I should hold it down that's all we need and in the event that something starts to try to float up all i do is i'll have a piece of another piece of this uh, plastic and i'll just set it if it tries to start going i'll just put it in there like this and tape it and it should be fine so here's our mold it's uh, hot glued in here all this stuff is it's not falling out pretty confident about it and all this is going to be, these two are going to be just color and resin. So I'm not going to have to worry about anything floating or anything. And this is the simple thing people were wanting to see was how do you just do a casting. And, and this is what it is. The last thing I'm going to do before we mix our resin up and pour is I have the oven preheating. I'm going to have it about 120, 130 degrees. And we're going to set our molds and everything in there for about 15 minutes. And that's just going to make it to where... Everything's going to be warmed up and the, the resin's going to stick to it better and it's not going to want to shrink away from something that's cold is my understanding of it. So uh, while the oven's preheating, I'm going to take this opportunity to say that I have big things coming up. I'm going to build a resin room in here. That's going to be a video. My next big project before I do that is going to have to do with football. It's going to be a pretty big resin project. I'll be making molds and stuff. So um, I'm just asking that you subscribe so you don't miss any of that stuff. Hit the bell. Now let's put the stuff in the oven. While the molds are in the oven heating up, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make sure everything is ready. I have my colors ready. I'm gonna do Castor's Choice uh, micro powders. One's emerald green and the other one's blood red. That should look good together. And I, I really don't want a color that's close to the Banksia pod. So I, got, I have copper and chocolate and all that stuff. I don't wanna use those. I want as much contrast as I can get. So those are colors I'm gonna use. I have little popsicle sticks for scoops and I have popsicle sticks in these cups. These are just cups from the store, the cheapest you can get uh, because you want to make this as cost effective as you can. Um, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to measure it in. Um, I have my scale here. I have the resin here, part A, part B. And this particular resin, Alumalite, this is Alumalite Clear Slow and it goes by by weight, equal parts by weight, not by volume. So you have to have a skill for this and you only have 12 minutes. As soon as part A hits part B and you start stirring, you have 12 minutes to get it into the pressure pot. So you need to have everything ready to go. And I pretty much do, I have a temperature gun here and I get somewhere around 95 degrees with it and that's when I wanna start mixing it. If you do it colder than that, then it'll start making new colors and not you won't get the swirl effect. You'll just get a different color. So you want to make sure this stuff has started to set off um, at least about 10 minutes in and then you then you start pouring it or you use your temperature gun and get it to about 95 or so degrees. Get it in there and mix it up and get it in your pressure pot before it starts really setting off. You only have 12 minutes and I have a little timer right here to tell me because I'm not going to pay attention. I'm going to be busy. So you need something to tell you, hey, hey crazy, get that thing in the pressure pot. 
I just pulled these out of the oven. It was only like 120 degrees, so it's not, they're not that hot, but just be mindful you just pulled them out of the oven. I have gloves on because once you start messing with this resin and then you go touch your face, it can burn your eyes and stuff like that. And then you wear safety glasses or the safety police will turn their sirens on. I'm gonna mix our resin up in one container. I'm gonna fully mix it and then I'm gonna split it between these two cups, put the colors in there and mix them up. And then by the time they get mixed up, it should be time to put it in there. As soon as I put part B with part A, I'm gonna start our timer and you'll be able to see it the whole time. Here we go. We already said it was 20 ounces, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put 12. I don't wanna cut this short. If I have to make a little bit extra, that's fine, but I don't wanna cut this short. So I'm gonna go to 12 on this. That's 323.4 grams. And I'll write it down and then we multiply that by two. That's going to be 646.8. That's just off the top of my head too. That's pretty good. So I'm going to pour this in there until that hits up. And then I'm going to turn my, I'm going to hit start. 46.8. So there we are. We're already two minutes in almost. We'll see how that can, it can catch up to you. I have this little, it's plastic and I can reuse it. So I'm going to start mixing this. I'm going to scrape the sides and scrape the bottom. You want to get this mixed up as, as very best you can. When you're mixing this, you can see little white swirlies until it gets mixed and then you don't see them anymore. And I'm just about to that point right now and then I can split it up between those two cups. So now we put our color in and I don't want to be able to see through this at all so I'll put quite a bit in there. And we just mix, mix, mix. We're already at five minutes so <laughs> Time flies. Amazing how cool these colors are. I've never used these two before. These are brand new colors I've used and they're awesome already. Mix these until either one, they're at 95 degrees or I'm at 10 minutes. So I'll just keep going back and forth and mixing these up. Making sure they're really good. We're not worried about mixing too hard. We're not, mixing, we're not worried about bubbles because we're going to put this in the pressure pot. And that'll take care of all the bubbles for us. 76 degrees, so we're still good for a while. So we're running up about nine minutes. So I'm going to keep doing this and keep checking the temperature. 83, you can see it. It's starting to set off. It's starting to gain temperature pretty quick now. And we're about 30 seconds out from 10 minutes. And I really would rather wait till it gets to, to 95 degrees. There's 10 minutes right there. So we have two minutes to get this in the pressure pot. I don't want to push it any further than that time wise. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out and we're going to pour them. And just kind of hope for the best. 86, this temperature's kicking off pretty good now, so I'm pretty confident it's gonna be good. So, we'll start pouring. Make sure it gets in everywhere. And we better hurry up, huh? A little skewer action here. I'm going to put some more in here because a little bit more is better than not enough. We're a little bit over, but I think we're going to be fine. It's not that hot yet. So. We're going to leave that in the pressure pot for at least a couple hours. And now is your opportunity to uh, clean the things that you're going to reuse. I'm, these are expensive, so I'm going to reuse this. I'm going to reuse this plastic little spoon thingy here. These ones here that I mix the colors in, I'm going to throw these away. These are super cheap. 
uh, the popsicle sticks throw them away. So now clean up your area and then wait for it to get done cooking. It's been about two and a half hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the pressure pot and we'll get to see what we made. All units respond. So I'm gonna take this over to the bandsaw, I think. You can also do it on the table saw. Um, the bandsaw has a way thinner blade, so I'm going to try that and then we'll have a way better look at what's going on in here. So let's go to the bandsaw. So here this is, I, I've already, I cut them to size and then I sanded them a little bit. And all I did was get a, a DA upside down and I got it flat. And I'm going to put these on the buffing wheel. Um, and I'm going to show you how cool they are. And these other ones, um, you're just going to have to, these other batches I'm going to do, you just have to go to me and uh, Laura's Instagrams and go see what else we did. But for the sake of making this video a manageable length, I'm going to do these and I'm going to get them on the buffing wheel right now and show you what's happening. Let's go. Here's the one that ended up with the aluminum honeycomb in it. It turned out really cool. I bet it's gonna make a really cool pin. And here's one with just the color. It's one of the smaller ones that I just had the resin in there with the, with the uh, Caster Choice mica powders. It turned really good too. I'll have pictures of all these at the end. I'm gonna make a whole new batch with the antlers and all that stuff. Is there gonna end up on uh, my Instagram and Laura's Instagram, so go ahead and check, uh, follow our Instagrams. And then um, this video was supposed to take out the intimidation of resin casting. Hopefully I've done that. Um, if you still have any questions or, I'm sure I didn't cover everything, so put your, in the comments below, give me questions or comments or, or things like that. There's big things coming up for the shop and the channel, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, Everything I use today will be in links below and go check those out so you can see what kind of uh, cost there is or what kind of different uh, products are out there. Um, we'll see you next time and y'all be good. You said, hey, as you stop me just a second, just a second away from all the pain. You told me if I leave, then no one gains. And it feels like you smashed me with a hammer. I'm ready to see we fell apart I'm ready to believe you have a heart And then you said, hey